What's going on Guardians and today I'm bringing you another farming video and this time we're gonna be farming Spirit Blooms. If you don't know what Spirit Bloom is, Spirit Bloom is this bluish greenish flower type of material that you need um, for upgrading weapons or specific armor. Now what you want to do is we're gonna go to obviously Venus and you start a patrol there and then you just launch it up okay we've made it onto the moon so what you want to do is make sure again you have a ghost shell that detects this time spirit bloom so this will mark out any nearby spirit bloom but because we are not looking for any rare materials we're gonna be looking for chests as well and to mark out the chests, the best way to do this is to have the Night Stalker subclass equipped from the Hunter and you have Keen Scout. Keen Scout basically is a stronger radar or ghost. Um, it also marks um, materials and chests nearby. So the main difference is with the subclass is that you have chests and with the ghost you just have the materials. So the best area to do this is let me grab my speeder and we're gonna go to the left side. I, um, I stumbled across this area um, back in year one. This was the best area in my opinion to farm these materials. So you just start, oh, keep my sparrow, uh, you just start over here and then you just basically stay to the right side lean to this cave because basically what we are gonna do is check out the caves for the most parts and the spirit blooms will be on the outside the most so we're just gonna stay on the right side hug the walls we are here nothing yet that's a lot of enemies we're just gonna stay to the right side here. Oh, there was something here, apparently. No, that was just my sparrow. And. Um, where's another cave here? So there's nothing. And we're gonna jump up here. Keep going. Take this cave. Back in the day from House of Wolves, there there used to be a, a sparrow hidden in one of these caves. But I don't know if they still do that or if they remove it. And I'm not having any luck. Oh, there's a chest over here. There we go. I'm just gonna jump down here. Oh, see, there's something in here as well. Another chest. Fair blue. I'm just gonna take out these ads. So there is no special material needed um, out of Spirit Bloom because all the other materials uh, can be farmed for an exotic sword. But um, with Spirit Bloom, it's just the materials that you are gonna gather if you need. A, I don't know to upgrade your weapons or armor. There should be a chest over here somewhere. Oh, it's up top. Almost have it. And we got it. The most things you will encounter during this um, farming route are the, the chests. So they have a chance to drop like um, Spirit Bloom as well. And they also give you some uh, a chance on blue engrams and some other stuff oh like modes of light and glimmer so this is also a good method met for that and see we have more spirit bloom i'm not gonna ride my sparrow nope i'm not go with spirit bloom i wonder if they're gonna bring out another sword or you need to get a spirit bloom or something. 
at least something. So, I think you're getting the the basic idea of this of this farming method. So the the basic thing you need to do is just hug the wall because it's it's a pretty circular area with just some rocks in the middle, but and a lot of caves, a lot of caves. And you just want to circle it around, and as you can see, another chest over here. I think it's this cave. Yep. Another spirit bloom, twice. And there's more spirit bloom over here. So as you can see, and there also a good tip: the spirit bloom can be uh, there can be a chest beneath or above it, above us. So if you're not having the the Night Stalker subclass, you're gonna have to run this route and always check every cave. And uh, the perks of having the Night Stalker subclass is that you can just walk by a cave and check if if it has a chest. And this is also a good place for the Taken to corrupt the area, so if you're doing that as well. Okay, and we're and we're back on a starting point see so what you basically do is always make a circle you can do this if you're not encountering any spin metal you can do the most part of this farming route on your sparrow um, but sometimes it's just easier to do, to go on foot so yeah um, that was basically the route I always took sometimes if you're not finding any spin metal or chests in the caves uh, try going through the center of uh, this area there can also be uh, chests or spin metal as well but I would suggest just staying near the edges that will that way you will um, you'll avoid the most ads I think um, so yeah that was the farming route I know it's a little short and yeah it's also pretty easy that way so um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more content of me, you can always subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.